there's stuff we can do prior to if they like eggs, scrambled eggs. I cook up a bunch of them. You can quick heat it up. There's lots of foods that you can do nice and quick and, and to where they can heat it up and have their warm meal food. Also, many of the kids, they're not used to having ice. So they like lukewarm or room temperature drinks. So be aware of that. And as always, be patient, be understanding. If you're like, why, I don't understand, call up your community counselor. They may have a story to help you understand. Call us up. We may be able to explain it to you in a way to where you understand. I learned stuff today. So just about that last little meal, last little, they leave that. Yes, I didn't know that that was a sign of disrespect to, to take that. So you learn. So work with each other, feed off of each other, and just do it. Do we have any questions? That was a lot of information. No? Well, if you do have any, please feel free to always call. Talk to your community counselor. Yes, Ms. Sure. <laughs> Since my sister and I got to pick up Will, mm -hmm. um, do you make little signs? Oh, yeah. You don't really know how we put it in the picture. Can we think about it? Uh huh. Yes, a nice white poster board. Ooh, some oh. people call it balloons if they want to do it. And these kids are going to be tired. Oh, yeah. And a stuffed animal. Oh, yeah. yeah. You can do the signs, you can make it fun. And creative, you can go nice and simple with the big one. Hey, where are you? But they're going to be tired. They're going to be tired, tired. So it's a long journey for them. So also make sure that you have bottled water at your home. That is critical. Their water systems is not like ours, so it's going to hurt their bellies, even with brushing their teeth. Or at least it's the first two weeks, it hurts them. Make sure it's room temperature, not cold. <coughs> they can purchase lunch. It'd be nice to have a little baked lunch. A lot of students bring the leftovers from the night before or do a sandwich. A lot of students don't like sandwiches, but your student may. It's just what they what they eventually get accustomed to. Okay, let's call. Um, <laughs> I say, 
that long, and then they, they talk, and then I'm going to That's good way to do it. Now, just, just letting you know that, and that works wonderful, just as a thought. That'll happen at that time, but keep it in your family covenant. Keep with the rules. This is phone time. And if you talk to mom and dad and you're able to get a hold of them, just say, then we will uh, address with the agent stating this is the family family's rules. They, unless if it's an emergency, don't call at this time. There's there's an appropriate times to call, and the families will understand. So sometimes you just have to have mom and dad. Some and we have to do that, and mom and dad will do that, saying, listen. Say whatever you want. This is the house rules. You need to follow. Them. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. 
maybe not expect it right away. And, and over time, I know with my student, he looks me straight in the eye now. I've had him for a couple of years, but he didn't at first, but he does now because he understands. And that's that's going to help him to assimilate in American culture a lot, a lot more than it would have if he didn't use the eye contact. Number. school, 
they have to do their homework, and they wait, you know, and then the grades are going down and they're not staying focused and, and not following the covenant. You know something's going on. And so you just have to stand, just like any other kid. Follow the rules, follow the guidelines. As simple as that. And then as, as you get to know each other, if you want to uh, make bedtime a little later because they show that they are responsible enough to get up early or on their own in the morning, fine. That's, that's, go for it. You know, that's, that's your move, but that depends on strictly on you. So every student and every family is different. We can only give you hypotheticals and possibilities and do the worst case scenario to the least case scenario and use that as a guideline. That's the best that we can do. That's why we depend on all of you to communicate with each other and help each other out and give good suggestions and say, hey, I, I, I'm not sure. What would we do with this thing? Call up your community counselor, call up your buddy and work it from there. Call us up, we'll work it out. That's how we learn. Any other questions? All right. Well, I'm not done yet. Oh, no. <laughs> so, da, da, da. we do have, I do, do just want to let you know of a little bit of information. We have another meeting that's coming up on September 14th. You will be receiving an email about this. And it is the host families and students' real, realistic expectations. And so it's going to be from 7 o'clock to 8.30. We will have some, some nibblies, desserts, or... We'll have, we'll have just your drinks and y'all can yeah. bring your favorite dessert and we'll leave a coffee dessert. So, and it's going to be a very, you know, educational meeting. So, I, I know that I am personally looking forward to it. So, um, also, arrival, in, flight arrival information. I sent out information on the majority of you. And there's many that I have not received a response on confirming. It is important that I obtain uh, the confirmation and a cell phone number that you are going to pick up your student at the airport or somebody that you know is going to pick them up. The reason why is because I tell the agent and inform the agent with the telephone number. So I will get you yours. Um, with the telephone number, so the student has that information, the parents have that information, the airline has that information, so if something happens, there's always a way of communication. So if you can come up to me, if you definitely know that you recall that I could emailed you saying, I got your confirmation, I'm gonna notify the agent, please come to me and let me know while we're here. So I don't want to call out any names, that's good. Um, all right. Also, we have a family sign-in sheet. If by chance, we want to make sure that your addresses are correct. The majority, I think, I, I, think, I believe I have everyone. If you did not sign a, a sign-in sheet, a VIA sign-in sheet, not the Trinity. You have to do that. Yeah. Yeah. And if I did not get a hold of you, Please see me afterwards for that. So I just need a signature. We want to make sure that your address is correct. So we can send your monthly siphon to the correct address. Okay? Other than that. Now, one more thing. Ladies and gentlemen, when your students arrive, new or returning, please send a photograph. So we can shoot it off to the natural parents, letting them know that their son or daughter has arrived to this country safely. Okay? And you just send it off to your community council, and they will make sure it gets to our office. Or you can send it to me. I have one more question. We have a returning student, and they, will they still have their original bank account? And yes. Well, and they'll have to sign. We won't have yes. to redo all that. That's no. the same. Um, I don't know about their cell phone. Okay. Some of your cell phones choose that their cell phones might not have kept paying on their plan during the summer, so you might need to talk with them to see if they need a new thing. Okay. okay. But their bank accounts, I set up all their bank accounts. I can still see everybody's bank accounts. So yes, they're all still good. Okay. And everybody's at least got a dollar eighty two. <laughs> <laughs>
Well, we want to thank you all for coming out. Again, it's because of you all. It's all because of you. And we are so appreciative for everything that you do for our students, your patience, your guidance with everything that you do. So, thank you, Dr. Robinson. We are still looking for more families, okay? I know you're like, wow, there's a lot of people here. But we keep growing every year. Even though the market is slow right now, international, uh, we're growing. And we're, you know, we're doing well. God is blessing us. So please, uh, we still do the referral program. So if you refer a family, now listen, if that family doesn't put your information down as they referred me, you're not going to get paid. But <laughs> if you refer a family and you they communicate that you were their referral, okay, and you, they go through all the way through the process, they do the whole thing, then it's a $200 referral bonus you'll get. Okay? Yeah. yeah. Right. So, um, so please continue to refer friends, family. You can be single, color doesn't matter. Uh, we have some Age else. does not matter. Age does not matter. Listen, some of our kids love the grandparents' house. So, um, all, all different groups, single, married, widow, whatever, uh, but reach out to your churches, reach out to your Sunday school classes, and keep praying. We have 11 kids getting visas in the next 14 days. Okay, so just pray that God will bless. I'm praying for all of them. Okay. You know, I'm just claiming all of them, and God will just have to tell me different, maybe. I don't know. Thank you for coming.